Alright, welcome to a Face Melters solo hero queue. See if my team can decide what I should be real quick. See if the team replies to anything. I think we'll just go Sylvanas and lock it in. They're not going to reply, so we'll rock with that. <clears throat> I'm alright with that, I think. Enemy team is going to take stitches, shockingly. Okay, so it looks like Kosin will be rocking out with the face melting. Are you mad is picking Thrall. And we're taking a murky, which will be fun. So we're gonna get ETC. And Brightwing. Okay. So hopefully Luster to molester will pick some damage. Looks like our supports are about even. Tychus against a murky is going to be not good. I would say our comp is pretty jacked right now, but this guy may be good. Merc. If he's a really good Merc, he can turn the tide. Alright, Kerrigan it is for the Luster to Molester. And Chooch Train will be picking probably a secondary support is what I bet. They're going to have more support than us. I hear the cars. Make sure we got the good scan. No, they can go extra damage. So Rhaegar is their only support. <coughs> so our supports are about equal. I lean towards ETC whenever it comes to tanking. I think that ETC can do a little bit more work. So he can buff minions a little bit and the team some and he could actually get around, excuse me, he can actually get around the map a little bit easier, I think. And he can shut down the entire team. Stitches ain't no joke. But personal preference is ETC. Granted, I, pr I probably should play a little Stitches to see what all the fuss is about. I only see it from the other side and I only see good and bad stitches. And I've seen a lot more bad than good. Alright, here we go. So we're going to go kind of for the the boom boom build with uh, with her and try to try to bring some extra damage. Uh, one three one, or three one one. The gates shall open in ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I must go on now. Fight. Okay, so it looks like we're going to push three mid with our tank going top. For now, I'm just going to soak as much as I can early on. See if I can do any zoning here. So they're hiding in that tree. Watching me. Should be able to hit Rhaegar with this. 
Let that spread around. Okay, so they're going to play pretty aggressive, which is kind of what I expected. I'm not real worried about that. So we're going to stick closer to the towers. Let that spread around everybody. And really, we're not going to do a whole lot against these guys because they're just bringing too much. Best we can do is try to counter their push. Get that up. So we'll probably be contesting up here for some of these. Okay, so they took the other side, so I need to get this side and get out. Prob oh god. It had been so long, I figured they were going north. Alright. I'm going to go grab this siege instead of going up. Because we need to keep on pushing experience against these guys. Well. I guess I need to go get in this attack. Why am I not moving? Why am I not moving? Um, let's see. We're going to take... We're going to take Venom. Get some extra damage out on these guys. Especially since we're in full team fight mode. Okay, let me get back down. Done. I'm going to go ahead and try to take this real quick. It's taking a long time to take down this camp, but at least I'm not getting hurt doing it. And it'll give us a little help with this push down here. Okay, they got down a good bit. Should have him. I'm not going to over engage that for sure. Yeah, that's gonna be bad. Ah, oh, I don't know how that hit me. I was gone. May have been a better call to keep on running though. I don't know that we should be doing these team fights this early. We should let them get it early. Try to push and catch levels. Oh, uh, that's not going off quick enough. Okay, 
we can't do a whole lot down here. Um, we're going to do this to try to push back. So this is one of the things, especially with this map, a lot of team fights can happen if they're going to roam. Um, you generally want to be real careful if you're getting destroyed in team fights. I just couldn't get out of that. And they're back to just team fighting with a two level difference, which makes no sense. Even if we could possibly get these guys, it's not worth it. All right, so we got a grumpy murky. We're doing a. Okay, that doesn't work against this team, so I don't know why they're doing this. up there. Oh, I did not see that. Alright, so that was almost a really, really bad situation. So 
see if I can get on Choo Train. So this strategy alone is not my favorite of going up and down. Um, it can work. And we're doing okay here. Um, but I am a bigger fan of pushing straight into one area hard because that lets us actually team fight there too. And does some pretty solid work. I mean as it is right now, we've gotten the... we still have this left. That's it, so that's not the worst. And I can go take that down real quick. Especially since they're chasing them. Just gotta clear these camps, or clear these, these groups coming in. We'll see what kind of opposition we face up here.
So we have a Murky who's really, really sweet. Turn again. So, I generally don't pounce on people for stuff, but this team had no communication until they were unhappy with what we were going with. I mean, we ba we made the basic one three one, and then that was it, the end. So, there's only so much you can do. You, Hero League is just a whole bunch of people pissed and you're not going to play how they want you to play but they're not going to tell you how they want you to play so the best thing you can do especially if you're starting just like I am is go in, do the best you can and don't sweat it if they start telling you that you're terrible explain what the problem was And I can go tear those things down just as quick as you can put them up. So those things shouldn't be a problem. We got him pushed back pretty easily. I might have done overkill there to make sure that we got the kill, but probably be worth it. I guess since we're chasing, we'll continue to chase. She's got him. Let's get down to the bruiser camps.
We're going to save our abilities right now. Just in case they come in. So we're going to try to stay on top of this terror dropping stuff. Okay. I need to try to stay back a little bit. That's a really bad place to freeze up. They shouldn't be able to do a whole lot here. So, welcome to Hero League. As you've seen, the games are very intense. Also, you'll get one alpha dog who's going to be kind of a douche. Um, I'm not putting up the best numbers, but I'm trying to keep up with him telling us one thing and doing another and things just going all over the place. And there's not a whole lot we can do with a team comp like this. Um that did that I, that played wrong early we would have been ahead of them and had this from the start and I'm not exactly the most resilient character and for those that watch you know that I overcommit more than enough Just terrible. We need to get ready 
the chair. Should be able to push him back pretty hard here. I guess not. You can probably hear me slamming my cue. Okay, they know to focus me and pull me out. So we get the seed, Murky can go grab it. Alright, so he's getting that. And we just follow along, and that's going to be game. Somehow. It's mainly because this is a good late game comp. Um, not the best early comp.
Okay, so this guy is just absolutely terrible at playing with that. All right, and there we go. So that was a uh, that was a hot blooded game of, but we still pulled it out, so that's all good. Um, where is it? We're gonna report him for. Thanks for, in general, I won't report people, I just let it ride. But whenever somebody's going to come in, whenever we're at the very beginning of Hero League, there's no reason to be a dick to the rest of the people on your team. Everybody's kind of learning, getting teams down, especially in a pug. So, remember, we're all playing a fucking game together, so try to be chill about it. Um, people aren't always going to do great. People aren't always going to go with what your master plan is but it's always going to end up okay and we all ended up with good numbers i did have the most deaths but that happens every time i play sylvanas especially because she's squishy um and i'm still learning her quite a bit but that's kind of how it goes so try to be cool to your fellow players regardless of how heated it gets in the end win and lose it doesn't really matter this is a game thanks for watching we'll see you in the next time subscribe comment like dislike however you feel thanks guys